Welcome to the Wheat and Tears podcast. We recently had the opportunity to stop by and visit with director T.C. Christensen and hear all about his new movie. It's called Love Kennedy, and it's a true faith-based story. Surprise, surprise. That's what I really like to do. And um, we tell this true story of a young girl, uh, Kennedy Hanson, who lived in the West Haven area. It's kind of West Ogden out there. And she contracted a uh, very terrible terminal disease, no cure for the disease, and three years ago died, three years ago next month. But, you know, I I would never have made that film if that was the story. The story really is her effect on the community, on those around her on us today, the, the, the legacy that she leave, leaves to, uh, to us. So we actually tell the story of her getting the disease and her death, but we spend the whole third act dealing with these things that came from her short, little good life. How did you first hear about her? I, was, I spoke at a fireside out in that area, and her dad, Jason Hansen, came up to me after and said, you know, my daughter just died. And, oh, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. And he said, um, I'd really like to tell you her story. And I had lunch with him. And as he was telling me different aspects of it, I would think, that's pretty good. Hey, that's really good. And I just kept thinking, you know, that's... And so I took a whack at it and wrote a script. And... Uh, my partner, Ron Tanner, uh, looked at it with me, and we just thought, this is worth doing. Let's get on it. So we just got the machine going, and here we are having the premiere uh, in May, and it opens June 2nd. Now, I know this Teddy Beers yeah. is working on this film. This is the first time you've worked with her, isn't it? Well, I've worked, no, I've, I've known Heather for many years. She used to work in, at an ad agency. And when I would do commercials for that ad, ad agency. And then... Uh, I filmed her in commercials. She was also in a movie that I filmed for another director a few years ago. But it is the first time I've had her in one of my films. And she's delightful, terrific. She understood the part. Um, She brought so much to the character. Let me tell you just one little example. She, uh, in one of the scenes where she's comforting Kennedy, the daughter, she started singing a little ditty, a little song to her. It was great. I loved it. And when we cut, I said, what is, what is that song? And she said, it's called Three Little Ducks. I'd never heard of it before. And I said, hey, guys, get on the horn and find out if that's public domain, if we could use that or if it's going to have copyright problems. Well, now it's so easy to do that. Within a couple of minutes, I had guys coming back and saying, no, that's an old, old, old song. Oh, that, that, that's the public domain. Well, we ended up expanding that song and used it, I think there's four times now in the film. She hums it, she sings it, kind of culminates a, a part of the story. She, I'm not smart enough to think of that and write that, but it, she's the mother, and she, it brought this motherly aspect that we couldn't have, I wouldn't have had without her. So the role of Kennedy... That's got to be a very challenging yeah. role. How did yeah. you find the actress for that? You know, I actually had another actress in mind as I was writing that I kept thinking, she's, I bet you, she's the front runner. She's going to play this part. And one of our casting days, in came uh, Tatum Chinoquy. And Tatum was not there to for the role of Kennedy. She came as a cheerleader. We, we cast uh, four cheerleaders that kind of circle around Kennedy. And at the end of her read of the cheerleader, I said, Tatum, I'm going to give you sides, little pieces of the script, to another character, Kennedy. Would you stay and go out in the hall and practice this and come back? Because I just saw, I could see this girl could be really good in this. And she did. She came back. She did it terrific. I had her come back one more time. Not really for me. I wanted the family to see her. Because we involve the families, you know, that are involved in these stories we tell, being alive. 
and they loved her. So we we gave her the role, and it's difficult, you know. It's not just that you have to memorize lines and deliver. She's got to show and portray this disease. So she starts to go blind. She can't focus her eyes. She her movements become erratic and struggled. She starts to lose her cognitive uh, abilities, and all those things Tatum really just incorporated. We we came up with a system where. At the beginning of the film, she's a one, then she gets two, worse, three, and then on her death, she's a five. And then Tate, we'd always talk before every scene, no, well, this is a three, so, da, 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 so it kind of would keep her kind of straight like that. Anyway, Tatum was just really delightful, and just cute as can be. I think audiences are going to, it's, it's, it, it makes it harder to watch because you, she's so, you just love her. And then when she when you lose her, then you feel worse. That's a thing that I discovered with this film. You know, I made I make all these other pioneer kind of films. People care a lot more about a young sixteen year old girl that died three years ago than those pioneers hundred and eighty years ago. There's just an innate boom that you care more about this contemporary girl. Because they can relate to it. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's just sometimes the pioneers are just so removed. One of the reasons I wanted to make this Kennedy film is it supports all of the things we learn in primary. There are things that we learn as a little kid and we're told, you know, all the time growing up and in our lives and we get older and we're told a lot of these same things. And Kennedy's story supports those things in miraculous ways. And I hope the audience grasps that because we don't take a big pencil and point to it and say, do you notice? Do you see this? Do you notice? But it's there. And I hope audiences uh, can come out feeling like, you know what? I better be a better person. I better listen to my little primary stories because that story shows they're right, they're true. Watch for the full interview to be released on our site, wheatontearspodcast.podbean.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, where we give regular entertainment recommendations the whole family can enjoy. 